This is the mini brands box. Hello everyone. And I'm gonna be unboxing this mini brands. This is all I have. I had only purchased two. There was a lot in a box at Target, but they were selling out so fast and there were many others looking at them. So it didn't take more than two days for them to be off the shelf. So I was able to get my hands on two. This is why I have one of the first here. And my sister gifted us this one. Um, and there is, there is a couple more somewhere else. So this is the mini brands book right now. They're pretty viral on here on YouTube. I've seen them. I've seen people unbox a big amount of collection of them. And I think they're a great collection to have for many purposes. But the purpose that I would like to have them is just for my own collection because I also enjoy reading books. I'm a reader myself. I have here the Elvis Presley book that I just purchased, that I, my husband just purchased for me. And we bought this one at, where was this one at? This was at Barnes and Noble. And here's the prize. And it does stay here at the beginning though that this is a work of fiction. Names, characters, places, and incidents either are the product of the author's imagination or are used fictitiously and any resemblance to actual persons living or dead, business establishments, events, or localities is entirely coincidental. So I started, I'm really on chapter two. It's a lot of a lot of fun and it's already emotional to start in the first chapter and it starts off with uh, Priscilla finding out the death of Elvis Presley when she receives the phone call so I definitely this is why I purchased these books I enjoy reading I've been reading since I was small I used to read the Junie B. Jones books and many other like the scary books and I don't know them by name right now but there are many different types of books, and including um, as an adult, when I, when I was in college, I read many different books. And as an adult now, and I continue to read on my own, and just continue to read on topics that are interesting to me. So the mini brands says that it has 40 plus iconic minis to collect. And this is the Zero Mini Brands books. And it has Roald Dahl, Charlie, and the Chocolate Factory with real readable pages. I am aware that not every page is going to be re uh, legible. So you are going to see a few that will have, um, a bit, like, very hard to read. And some will be easier to read. But they're not all meant to be legible. But they are reading pages. So that's not... There will be real reading pages to say. At least one page in every book as I've seen, but we'll see right now what we have here. And you can see for yourself. In case you want to purchase these, you have the minor girl who's already collecting and she enjoys sharing with you the collection just in case you also like to share or you want to check it out or you are collecting and you want to see which ones you're missing whatever the reason i'm here so this is the reason why i do it i do it to share the collection and to share the joy of opening the collectibles is so much fun okay so here it is the plastic uh the inside feels like a plastic see it has a shiny and the front it feels like paper but it's definitely not only paper i think it's used to protect this book here which is good so we have the goosebumps this is some of the few that i was referring to the scary books i just don't know the author's name rl stein although he's he or she <laughs> is very famous goosebumps i'm not familiar into the author's lives um but it is something interesting right so we have one here is the goosebumps the original series from the master of fright so Deep Trouble, R.L. Stein, The Scholastic Book, introducing Billy and Sheena Deep. So let's see. 
If I open the page, Goosebumps, Deep Trouble, R.L. Stein, Scholastic Inc., New York, Toronto, London, Muckland, Sydney, Mexico City, New Delhi, Hong Kong. So that's readable. Definitely could read these if you focus. It says if you purchase this book without a cover, you should be aware that this book is stolen property and keeps giving you. And then the first page here it says, it says there I was 200 feet under the sea. I was on the hunt of my life. The hunt for the great white stingray. That's what they called him at the Coast Guard headquarters. But me, I called him Joe. The giant stingray had already stung 10 swimmers. People were afraid to step into the water. Panic spread all up and down the coast. That's why they sent for me. William Deep Jr. of Baltimore, Maryland. Yes, William Depp Jr., world famous 12 year old undersea explorer, solver of scary ocean problems. I captured the great white shark that terminated Nido Beach. I proved he wasn't so great. I fought the giant octopus that ate the entire California championship surfing team. I unplugged the, elec the electric eel that sent shock waves all over Miami. And so the, after this, the pages do become blurry to say the words. They're not, you're not able to read them anymore. So I do think it's a good way to introduce the book. If you are interested in reading a book, you can kind of get a little taste of it. I personally thought that was going to be the gist of it. But if I also thought if you're going to get the entire book in a little book like this, I, I, I couldn't figure out how they were going to wrap the whole book in this in a little tiny book like this. But um, unless they made the words really, really tiny and once again, it, it would not be able to be read. So... Unless they chose like their favorite, you know, their favorite sentences or something. But I'm okay with this. I just like the idea of having a mini book too. And my dolls can use it. So this is the Goosebumps Deep Trouble. We're going to place it. Now, we're going to open another one. These are the mini bronze books. Ooh, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. This is Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Last Straw. See? Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Last Straw by Jeff Kinney. Says here. And that uh, the, the wimpy kid. Huh. I believe I might have a magnifying glass. Let me check. don't think I don't know where I put it at so I'm going to see here it says New Year's Day you know how you're supposed to come up with a lot of resolutions at the beginning of the year to try to make yourself a better person well the problem is it's not easy for me to think of ways to prove myself to improve myself I'm sorry because I already, I'm already pretty much one of the best people I know. So this is what the book says here, and I'm at the last chapter. 
our last paragraph. So this year, my resolution is to try and help other people improve. But the thing I'm finding out is that some people don't really appreciate it when you're trying to be helpful. I think you should work on chewing your potato chips more quietly. Choo-choo. It has him telling someone. Let's see if it focuses. It won't focus. Okay, right, and then it came with a bookmark, a blue bookmark that I can put after reading that first page. Here's Diary of a Wimpy Kid. And here is the list of books that we can highlight. We have the Mini Brands books. The Legendary is the Goosebumps. The Iconic is the Stranger Things. That's cool. The Luxury, ooh, I would like this one, is the Peculiar Children, Dogmen, Dogmen Unleashed. That's really cool. The Ultra Rares, we have the Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Last Straw, The Dog Days, Alice Wonderland, Black Beauty, we have a Christmas Carol. And then there's the rares. These are one of my chase ones is the burn book. I know it's really chase for a lot of collectors here that like to collect it for their dolls as well. There's the Clueless. Then we have this one here already. The Pride and Prejud Prejudice and Zombies. Library and Souls, Hollow City, Cat Kid, Comic Club. The Babysitter Club. Holiday Inn, Bonicula, Little Sister. My sister has this one. She collected this one. Little Sister is really cute. Then there's the Common, and it's, it starts with Us. Reminds me of Him by Colin Hoover. And then it starts with Us is by Colin Hoover. World Dow by Charlie the, uh, Charlie the Charlie, <laughs> Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. World Dow, the BFG. Rodell Matilda, that one's a cute one. Rodell the Twins, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. And it says Roderick Rules, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, the, with the red cover. I.J. Smith, and it says The Vampire Diaries, that's a cool one, classics. The Vampire Diaries, I.J. Smith, The Vampire Diaries, here, the, another cover with the red ribbon in the front, The Suspicious Mind, Stranger Things. And then there's Stranger Things, another form of Stranger Things. This is Suspicious Minds. The one on the left and the one on the right says Darkness, Edge of Town. And then there's Goosebumps, The Haunted Mask, Goosebumps, Night of the Lion Dummy, Goosebumps, Deep Trouble, The Mad Lips. Those are fun. I recall playing The Mad Lips with our teachers in school. They would ask us to give them nouns and adjectives. And as a class, we would fill in the... The, the sheet and then at the end of the at when we would finish the sheet then we would read she would read it and we would all just enjoy a laughter and it was fun so i would like to find some mad libs to do myself maybe adult version so they or kids will be fine but adults would probably be more fun like adult humor if possible and then there's bookmarks we have one two three four five she's right there we have six with the legendaries and then we have the magnifying glass if you can find that one so that would be really cool if you can find the magnifying glass so we can see but since we already have the sheet out i'm gonna highlight i'm going to highlight the goosebumps let's see goosebumps right here i'm also going to highlight the diary of a wimpy kid the last straw. I'm also going to highlight Pride and Prejudice because I already have that one. I will be highlighting as well. Let's see. We have the bookmark. So I'm going to highlight the bookmark as well. And I believe that's it for now. Okay, I'm going to open the rest. And let's see. Okay, so we have two left. 
Let's unbox this one. I think it's a Matilda. It is. This is really cool. This is one of my Chase ones too. The Rodell Matilda. I would like it for my husband. He really likes the Matilda movie and I know that Snacks would appreciate this book. So this book is for Snacks, my husband. I'm going to put this book here and I'm going to highlight Matilda off the common list here. See, she's right here under common. I'm going to highlight her. I can check mark it. I see now the circles, but I choose to highlight because you can see it better off camera. I'm sure you can do a check mark too, but I just, I've already did the highlight. <laughs> Next time maybe. Okay. So mini brands books. Let's see. We have another hardcover. I like the hardcover. <gasps> Is this the luxury ones? The Cat Kid Comic Club. I wonder why, and we're going to compare it now, if possible. No, this is Cat Kid. Cat Kid Comic Club is a rare. Ooh, we're getting there. Okay. So, Cat Kid is highlighted. <clears throat> okay. So, I'm going to open it up. I see that it has the cat. And the cat has several tools it has three forms of different color pencils it has the purple the red the blue and then it also is holding like on its hand a brush it seems a marker and a pencil and behind him above him is like a fish like with the crab hands and it seems here like a worm that's like flying or it's just above the grass just a little bit maybe jumping from the creator of Dogman, it says. Comic Club is in session. Story, art, action. Your comic must have integrity and upright virtue. Hey, where did everybody go? And so it's going up the stairs. Here are the other collections of Dogman. There's about four more. Here's the first page. Oh, these are so neat. I like the art right here. The art form. The art form. Sorry. Cat Kid Comic Club. Written and illustrated by Dav Picky. Or er, it says Pilky. Sorry. With color by Jose Gar. Gary, Gary Daly. I hope I said that right. Squid Kid to Cat Kid. Oh, maybe that's next. Squid Kid. Cat Kid Comic Club to Clear Frederick and the Merry Makers Ink Team. <clears throat> hey guys, it says, and it has a little warm there. Focus on him right here. Welcome to the first meeting of the warmest telling the, the cat there. Well, I think we're supposed to start here, right? We're supposed to start left. So it says, welcome to the first meeting of, hey guys, and the Cat Kid Comic Club. The Cat Kid Comic Club, it says a little warm, hooray. And I'm the vice president. This is Lil Pete, he's the president. Cause I called it first, I got dibs. How come Molly gets to be vice president? Yeah, it says. Rats, no fair, uh oh. And so, there is nothing else. Maybe you're supposed to create your own art after that. So that's it for the mini brands. I'm go I already highlighted the ones that we have. And we have here the, the ones from other minis. We have the mini fashions. These are like the mini, I'm not sure if it's mini Disney's or toys. Cause we have some of the Disney's here. And these were from, I found these at the 99 cent store. And you would buy like individual little packs. 
you would only get one inside and so I bought like five of them. These are the slime, this is what I found inside. These are from the Disney ones. And you can open this and put in the toys. Here is the Hello Kitty. The Star Wars. Some Avengers. These are really cute. The rainbow corns. I like the colors. The packaging. The Minnie Mouse. So these are some of the few that I have. Minnie Mouse luggage. <clears throat> Hulk. Right here, Hulk. Marvel. We have the Pixar toy box, the Woody one. We have the Play-Doh Animal Crew. And these are some of my favorites. The little mini ones. They also have $100 bills. But this is the $5 one. What I like is that you can actually feel it. And move them around and remove them if needed. These are also some of my favorite, the Tic Tacs. But thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you until next time. I have more collectible videos on YouTube and Instagram if you're interested at the Minor Girl 898 or Pinterest. See you then.